Hey guys, it's Hector Castillo from girlschase.com. Today I want to talk about why women like hedonistic men. So the definition of hedonism is the love of pleasure. And a man who is in love with pleasure is going to attract women because women are the most pleasure hungry creatures on earth. They crave adventure, they crave danger. Uh, I think they did a study one time where they put a man and a woman on a bridge and it was shaky and they monitored like their heart rate and all that shit. And they found that the woman actually, um, the fear that arose on a bridge made her more connected to the man next to her. And they found out that's because the brain's not very good at distinguishing between uh, fear and attraction, which says something about the human psyche and the relationship between men and women. Um, something maybe a little dark, but um, still honest and animalistic where uh, women are in love with things that are unknown, that are mysterious. I think it's the mystery also that turns them on. And they are craving that break from their mundane life because the life of most women is very boring. They wake up, they eat breakfast, they are a little bit late for the train and miss it and then they have to go to the next one and then it's fucking cold out and they go to school and they hate school and then they, you know, run into this guy that they really hate and he's annoying and then they come home and they just sit on their phone and eat dinner and then go to sleep and that's fucking it. That's their life. That's most people, uh, people's lives actually. But a man who is attracted to pleasure, he's going to be filling him his life with pleasure. So a lot of people are attracted to pleasure. You know, everyone's kind of a hedonist. We, if we could all just sit around and fucking stare at, their, at our phones for 24 hours a day and you know, not have to work, we'd probably do it. Um, but in order to achieve pleasure and earn it, um, especially in its most luxurious um, and concentrated forms, it takes work uh, and you gotta make money. Or you have to go out and meet girls and learn how to do pickup. You have to go through a lot of adversity to find the highest pleasures. Um, the most beautiful pleasures are the ones most hard won. And so men who achieve, perhaps that's why women are attracted to success. You know, I made a video on why um, women are attracted to men with money. And it wasn't about the fact that they have money. Um, it's about what it rep represents and what it can buy and the kind of life that it can facilitate. And so in the same way, a man who is focused on pleasure, he wants to have a constant stream of pleasure. And so he's going to, if he is able um, to make a lot of money and be very successful or learn a lot of game, um, learn about fashion, um, learn some sports, something, he's going to be pushing himself to have adventure and life. And that is going to, women are gonna smell it. Women can smell a man who is uh, dangerous if he is um, addicted to something. It's why women like men with addictions, whether it's alcohol, sex, drugs. Um, I wouldn't advise becoming addicted to anything serious, um, but you should become addicted to, I would say being being addicted to sex is okay. I would, I would definitely advocate a little bit of sex addiction um, if you want to be very, very arousing to women. Um, if you just, you know, want a girlfriend and whatever, you don't need to be too much of hedonist. And, um, but once you do get in a relationship, what you need to realize is even if you don't want to be this crazy guy who's having all this pleasure, you gotta fuck your girl good. Like, you gotta be a nasty motherfucker because girls are into things that you wouldn't even fucking believe. And if you haven't been vaccinated for the truth that you will find out about women and what the fuck turns them on, then uh, you're gonna have a rough time. So you do need to become familiar <laughs> with pleasure and uh, imbue your lifestyle with pleasure um, because even if you're not a crazy hedonist, you're definitely gonna run into a situation where you need to do something that maybe you're not personally into, but in the name of pleasure, you will do it. Um, whether it's sticking something in a certain hole or saying certain things or doing something in a certain environment, whatever it is that the woman's into. Um, if you're not fully comfortable with it, you need to just embrace the, the pleasure. If, as long as you don't cross any boundaries um, that harm your uh, self-respect, right? That's where your line is, right? So um, I'm not saying you have to go rail cocaine off of a hooker's ass or um, go fuck 30 women. You can be a pleasurable man, but do it in much more responsible ways, you know? Eat healthy, drink um, good alcohol if you do go and party, um, and you look good, right? There's a pleasure in narcissism and looking at yourself in the mirror and, and looking good and liking the way you dress or the way that you style your hair or your muscles, whatever it is. Fall in love with life, be a lover of life. Um, go read some Nietzsche. Yeah, that would very uh, be a very good recommendation for um, understanding 
how hedonism can be attractive because his writing style is hedonistic in and of itself. It's like, it's a call to life. And so you're gonna be enraptured by that and it'll, that's what changed my life a lot actually, was Nietzsche. Um, his philosophy helped me when I was like 17. You wouldn't expect someone to recommend that um, for uh, being pleasure hungry, but I would definitely say that it changes your life when you start to understand his philosophies and to love life and to not be afraid of the dangerous and hard things in life um, because those are gonna give you the greatest pleasures and you should be a pleasure seeker. Okay, this is Hector Castillo from girlschase.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, um, leave a comment about the craziest thing you've done recently in the name of pleasure. <laughs> and I'll share some of mine as well. And then uh, follow me on social medias and I will see you very soon.